Alright, so let's go ahead and investigate the asynchronous binary signal random process by doing some computations. Recall what the asynchronous binary signaling random process looks like. Here's the general form. Remember our pulse function is just this window function. The amplitudes of each pulse toggle randomly between minus A and A. And we're going to assume that these pulse amplitudes are independent, meaning pulse 1's amplitude is independent of pulse 2, which is independent of pulse 3, etc. And we're also going to assume that they're equally likely. So when we randomly pick the amplitude for the next pulse, we are equally likely to get minus A as A. Also, don't forget about the random quantity D. This is the amount of random displacement that we have with respect to the time origin. And it is a uniform random variable between minus t over 2 and t over 2. So first let's go ahead and compute the mean function for this random process. So by definition we want to compute the expected value of x of t. That is equal to the expected value of this whole thing right here. And you can see what I've done. I've gone ahead and switched the order of the expectation and the sum because that's okay to do. We can always do that. Expectation is a linear operator. And then I really have two random quantities. I have this as a random quantity, and d here is a random quantity. So really I need to take the expected value of this whole quantity. However, I am assuming that a's and d's are independent. That was one of the assumptions we made in our original statement of this random process. So that allows me to rewrite the expectation as really the product of two expectations and handle both of these quantities independently because they're independent. Notice right here I've cheated a little bit when I wrote down this function. I didn't write down all of the notation. Just to save a little bit of writing, I just wrote it as a dot. And we'll do that a little bit here, uh, a little bit when the context is clear what should be written there just to save some writing. So this right here is what I need to evaluate. So let's go ahead and choose one of these to work on. What about the expected value of a n? Well, a n is a random variable that toggles between minus a and a independently and nucleus likely. So half the time it's equal to negative a and half the time it's equal to positive a. So the expected value of this random variable is a half times a plus a half times negative a which is equal to zero. So this entire sum turns into zero because this is equal to zero. So the mean function of the asynchronous binary signaling random process is zero.